Hello and welcome back to my channel. We have Kanye West in today's video. The last 72 hours with Kanye have been absolute chaos and here's everything that I know so far. So the highly anticipated uh, album release was uh, scheduled for midnight that's Friday with the Las Vegas lighting party which turned out chaotic. They started the show late and was abruptly shut down by police due to lack of licenses and permits leaving attendees who paid 2000 US dollars scrambling for refunds. The album could not drop until Nicki Minaj cleared her verse on a track called New Body. But Nicki Minaj denied the clearance. After the shutdown, the event moved to a hotel where they continued working on the album. They were actually uh, recording vocals. They did this until 5 a.m. and they didn't make the release time and here's where things got a little worse. During his album uh, Finish Hip Hop Party, Kanye went on a 10 minutes rant and he made some uh, concerning statements including mentioning Jesus, Hitler and himself in a bizarre context. He also mentioned that uh, Jews own uh, banks or banks, uh, private schools and hospitals in Los Angeles. When I tell you that uh, this video has very strong uh, language, I mean just that I had to cut most of it, but you guys will get it. Y'all smart. Let's watch this clip and I'll be right back. No, none of y'all muckers here with no Instagram, nobody living, nobody at, and I don't want to hear from none of these Jewish to talk about, oh, he's in an episode. Harley Passenick, follow me to fucking hotel. He cared for Aaron Carter and now they acting like they won't care. Yeah. Uh, clear the back street boy sample. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Harley Pasternak pusher. Yeah. Your trainer. Yeah. Harley Pasternak, Jay Z. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? He's been hanging around thinking Jeff for the money on some Mike Rubin shit. I slapped it out of Mike Rubin. I see that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm on my Farrakhan Don shit right now, bro. Because guess what? These Jeezy's gonna sell. Yeah. They sabotage the show today. They sabotage the Instagram. They cut off fucking Adidas contract. They did all the shit. Then they wanna go get light skin yay. You got I understand. That's Jerry. His real name is Light Skin Yay, bro. <laughs> Dead ass, he told me that was his name. It's Light Skin Yay. They want the light skin version. They want a George Floyd. They want a Virgil. Then, like, they don't let me speak at his funeral. I saw two, three, four, five white people not let me speak at Virgil. None of y'all. And Drake. And hold on, hold on. Be quiet while I'm talking, baby. Drake, I love you. I'm going to get the tattoo. But any of y'all niggas, Trav. Drake, whoever, y'all gotta show up. And don't tell me I'm talking crazy. Me, Pharrell, we broke down this door. We all in this shit together. Mm -hmm. yeah. We all in this shit together. And we all dealing with a lot of... Yeah. Yeah. We all, and what I'm telling you, a lot of people had shit to say about my Jewish comments, but ain't nobody in this ever said nothing when I was praying to see my kids one of the last days. So Tory Lanez called me. We were saying prayers. We were saying prayers on the phone together. And I prayed. That day, and y'all saw that shit, and y'all saw when I couldn't see my kids. Don't tell me about my political opinion. I made more money to show you that money ain't nothing. It's our money. Yes, it's how yes. they stole it from us. It's pyramids. Yes, it's pyramids. Yes, it's St. Louis. And again, Missouri. Yes. They stole it. All the shit. America, just the latest bitch that been ran through so many times. The what? Greeks hit her. Massa Musa hit her. We had her. The Indians and shit. Pilgrims. It's the Jewish niggas. They dress the same. It's the same shit. That's the story. They put us in the school. The Rothschilds. I know Jay-Z back here like, oh, this down now. I've been here for a year. They can't fucking touch me. Why? Because God covered me. He covered me. And guess what, Trump? We ain't giving you support. Let's you get Larry out. Let's you get Jeff out. You understand what I'm saying? Because just y'all, y'all politicians think y'all gonna just get our shit for free. Oh, all of a sudden, because you got a mug shot, you with us now? No. No, what you gonna do for us? What they gonna do for us? She's gonna vote a Democrat all these good times. He's been showing with the LV show. Niggas is colonizer. The French own 80% of the banks in Africa. Mm -hmm. That's why I just met with MBS. Nigga head of Saudi. We don't have to bow to this shit. We, okay, it's 60 million of us in America, 60 million Jews in the world. 50% of our deaths is Russian. 25% of us go to prison. Raise one hand if you don't know one. Hey, raise your hand if you don't know, you don't know one person got abortion. I got now, now I tell you, now I tell you, if we was in a Jewish mother on Friday, we're not get everybody raised their hands. So, but wait, wait, wait a second. But who got? But wait, wait, wait a second. Who make the hospitals though? Who, who got the hospitals? These are Zionists. No? This is what I'm trying to tell you. Jesus Christ, Hitler, yay, third party, sponsor that. Bring the sponsorships to that. Cause it's gonna be some that feel exactly like me. I don't give a fuck. I'm seven. I don't give a fuck about life or death. I, I get visitation with my kids. I ain't gonna say so. 
Niggas mm -hmm. walking around like, look like soccer players that you know. They don't even know they got the dad the kid. They see me come play one on nobody. They still feel you though. They feel me, but they trying to program them. And he the head of Louis Vuitton, Bernard I know you. Alexander I know you. Francois P know you. Dimna. You, Balenciaga, uh, I'm Cedric. Buy the Yeezy Pods, buy the Yeezy Pods. Gap and the penis. Uh, let me tell you something right now. Just the fact that you ain't listening to me, it's, it's it. It's with me, I'm by my fucking self, because ain't none of y'all. All y'all riches got y'all kids in that Zion school. Fuck Sierra Canyon. My, my daughter ripped up fucking couches in the house to be able to be with me right now. Y'all don't know what's going on, for real. Where y'all TikTokin' and all that shit? Y'all put up with all that shit. Wait a second, wait a second. I put up one tweet. And then Ari Emanuel put, oh, we gotta drop this. And all this just watch. The only that had the Trump hat. The only that went and got them billions. The only that's breaking through all kinds of ideas and fashion. I've been called a faggot so many times for tight jeans. Uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? This is what y'all been waiting for. Drake, this is what you been waiting for. Jay Z, this is what you been waiting for. Kim, this is what you been waiting for. All you. Look, let me tell you something. This is the way the world God works. Here. Okay, be quiet for a second. Don't scroll for a second. <laughs> I love you, Bo. Okay? No, no, you got it. Get up. Hey, stop. Sorry. Yeah. Come down, please. God, God runs the world. Then under that, you got thousand-year-old families, Medici. Under that, you have the Vatican, the Pope. Under that, you have the financial groups that control all your shit. The Black Rock, Rock, Rock Vanguard. Yeah. After that, you have Putin. You have Trump, you have all this shit. And after that, you got what all this shit is? Entertainment, Podcast. Hollywood. Podcast. Take that, run that back, run in the schools. What I, I'm gonna give y'all one last thing before I go. When, when, when I first put the tweet up, I was dealing with a divorce lawyer. And I explained, I explained to the lawyer what my issue was. And his response was to me, if you keep up this anti-Semitic rhetoric, then you won't see your kids. Yeah, I knew said I couldn't have an opinion or I wouldn't see my kids. Y'all know who y'all fucking playing with? This is a vessel of God. He gonna burn all your shit down. I swear. I knew this was trying to make surviving yay, surviving this way. That's why I sent it up while I was still in the high schools. Bill Cosby couldn't do shit by the time they got him. R. Kelly couldn't do shit by the time they got him. That's why I had to send it up. Cause the same it niggas that made him rich is doing a documentary and Cootie, you, cause everybody saw that third episode. That's what the whole shit was about. Period. Me selling opioids. I'm not even bipolar and have signs of autism from the accident. They're gonna hit me with a medication, have us selling opioids for them. They made me the face of bipolar. Okay, there, big farmer, where my teeth? <laughs> Bought up in drugs, you know, sold off of the idea of yay being bipolar. And other people had something else to say about this video, which I have collected for you. It's just a few clips that I've collected for you. So make sure you watch this video up to the end. I am not going to say much on this guy because like if this is the real Kanye, like I am that loyal. I'm not going to bad mouth him. I know he doesn't know me. I don't know him on that level. But yeah, I'm just one of those uh, loyal fans. Please pardon me for that. Let's watch these clips and I'll be right back. Kanye West just went on this like 10 minute rant talking about mentioning all that stuff up there, right? Um, the big problem I get from this rant is that he's clearly just caught up in a lot of misinformation and conspiracy surrounded by a lot of yes men, right? Because he's he, when you watch the video, he's saying all this stuff and everyone's just clapping along and all this kind of stuff. But someone actually did end up saying something. And I think that just shows what's going on here, how he views himself, how he views the world. Um, and the part that's frustrating to me is that I grew up a gigantic Kanye fan. And I believed in a lot of what he was standing for and representing at the time. So to see this just over the last, like, what, like five-ish years has just been a, a, a sad roller coaster to be on. Um... You know, and just him saying all this kind of stuff just really spreads misinformation and conspiracy. And it's just, it's just not a good look. It's not a good look. I am on my very best behavior on TikTok. And if anything is even questionable, I will not post it. So because Kanye used very strong language in this video, I will not be sharing it here. But 
If you want to hear Kanye speaking out on this in his own words, you can watch this video in its original version on Las Vegas Perez on Instagram. And you should follow that on IG anyways, Las Vegas Perez. That's my Vegas specific Instagram account. He was in Vegas and went off on him. Y'all, one thing Kanye go do, he go blow up the spot. <laughs> Y'all, what's going on with Hollywood? It's unraveling slowly. Okay, so I would like to have a round table discussion about the rant that Kanye just went on. Um, I promise you, I know people be like, it's, un it's irrelevant, but it's actually relevant because everything that we thought we know or knew we now know we actually know thank you kanye now i know sometimes it be seeming like and y'all stop saying that that man has mental health issues please stop saying that because if you actually listen to him his thoughts <laughs> kanye i'm sorry i love you though i do thoughts just don't be all the way formulated and in order he just be going because it be so bottled up he be so distressed about what he needs to get out i think he doesn't formulate it enough and organize the talking points so we can actually understand so he just be going from topic to topic but it's all in the same topic go okay so here's what i think about this video <laughs> there's something about uh kanye that i've noticed like uh once he goes on one of uh, these runs like there's no stopping him until he's done so like i said uh in the first uh voiceover that i you know at the beginning of this video like this video had very much strong language that uh this app will not allow so i had to do a lot of uh censoring Kanye is my guy. Like, uh, I really, really, really uh, like this guy. Like, his personality. The guy is not afraid of anyone. Yeah. This is why I will not say anything on this. But, you know, he called a spade. A spade he called water, water. You can add on that list. So, let's just listen to what other media publishers said about, you know, th thought about this video. Uh, I'm starting with this. Uh, is it uh, Jerusalem Post? Yeah, so let's read what they had to, to, you know, what they had to say about this because, you know, they are calling Kanye all sorts of names. Like, uh, you know, he's gone mad, he's insane. The guy is not okay up in the head. So let's just, uh, you know, let me read this out loud for you guys. Okay, so this one reads that uh, Kanye West, a rapper who obtained the title and Semite of the year in 2022 by the campaign against anti-Semitism, went on an anti-Semitic rant in vegas on uh, december 15th according to numerous media reports and footage taken off the incident west also complained of the struggles of co-parenting with ex-wife kim kardashian and about former president donald trump and west's former business partner in the 10 minutes long rant okay uh, let's hear what uh, tmz.com had to say about this uh this incident um kanye west is apparently in the grips of a serious mental health episode ah oh, i doubt it that's the only conclusion to draw from his furious round attacking his ex uh, business partners donald trump and of course jewish people Looking like a cult leader, Kanye was surrounded by a few dozen people early Friday morning somewhere in Las Vegas when he just lost it. During a roughly 10-minute explosion, he seemed to draw a direct line from Jesus to himself as he screamed, Jesus Christ, Hitler, yes, yeah, sponsored that. Okay, so last but not least, uh, let's read what uh, the HindustanTimes.com had to say about this. So they go on to say, Kanye West expressed anger towards uh, various individuals, including ex-business partners, Donald Trump, Balenciaga, creative director, Dema, and others. His uh, offensive remarks towards uh, the Jewish community during a 10-minute rant in Las Vegas also included, included a connection he made between himself and Jesus Exclusive footage acquired by TMZ showcased that uh, showcased the voucher crooner screaming, "Jesus Christ, Hitler, yes, yeah, sponsored that." Kanye then uh, returned to his offensive remarks. It's 60 million of us in America, 60 million of Jews in the world. Who's going to make the hospitals? Though his um, hospitals, though. His uh, that part opened up. Uh, there was a word, uh, a Zionist. He's a Zionist, Trump. 
this is what I've been trying to tell you while venting his frustrations about the lack of support. Kanye was uh, challenged by a woman who said, you ain't God. He then threatened to have her th removed from the premises. Okay, guys, so... I looks like I'm the per only person in this room um, on this incident situation that understands, you know, like Kanye. So this is for everyone who did not understand what Kanye was saying. Okay, first of all, you're going to have to stop calling uh, this guy insane. Like this, he's very much okay. You just have to listen to him. Okay, so let's go on. He spoke about uh, being alone in all this. Like uh, there was a time he tried to get his kids let me just say his exact words. He said that uh, when everybody was uh, against him, all the people on the internet were against him, all the people in that room, everybody in that room, nobody stood up for him. Nobody stood up for what was right. And, and then he started, uh, you know, talking about uh, Jews and the Jewish stuff that, uh, that has been uh, on, on him on for years and uh, which he was like... Um, what am I saying? What I'm saying is the truth. I'm not lying. He went on to say Jay-Z this, Pharrell this, da, 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 da. like he's in the, I don't know, something like uh, him and Pharrell are in the same boat. If you know what that means, please let me know. Let us know in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, like uh, this man is screaming for help. That there's a tiny voice screaming for help in this guy and there's nobody nobody seems to care and he also uh sent out uh sent out uh, sent a message out to uh drake telling him that um, he loves him and that he was going to get the tattoo i'm not sure what that means he also spoke about trump he was like uh <clears throat> like uh we are for trump but we can't really support you because uh of somebody somebody named uh larry and jeff like yeah people like pe these people are shady and uh going ag ag against the culture or well, something like that and he spoke about uh tory lynn uh that tory and west have been praying on the phone because uh, he wasn't allowed to see his kids like um he's been trying to see his, his kids for some time and um <coughs> excuse me and he said uh, something like um everybody want to come down on him and uh don't want to support him guys like uh it's a lot um unfortunately i cannot play this video is 10 minutes so i had to cut most of the parts like uh, i reduced it to six if you want to see the entire video go to tmz i think uh, on uh, on google search that you find it or just simply go to tiktok and uh, just type um uh, kanye west rant on friday like you have a variety of videos to choose from so with that information guys i think we've come to the end of this video let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below i tried my best to do this video raw like less editing yeah <laughs> yeah let us know what you think about this video my voice is becoming horsey yeah let us know what you think about this video in the comment section below and if you have not subscribed to this channel guys please subscribe turn on your notification bell so that every time i upload such videos you'll be notified i will definitely see you in my next video please stay peaceful